So okay. what's the agenda? Okay, so today you will learn why AFMNG is such a game changer. We will talk about the activation, what it means and what it does. We will talk about filtration and backwash performance of AFMNG and how it compares to others. And we will talk about the new layering. Do you do an to show alone? Yes. Okay, good. You Let's can do go that. On. You can do yeah. this point. Q&A. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Exactly, as always. So use the chat function, please, to uh, place your questions. Uh, uh, write them down in there. We will uh, cover them at the end of the show. Um, this is how you do it here. Go to all panelists and attendees. And as always, use the replay uh, that is available on our website. You can view this session for seven days and then it will be replaced with the next one. And also on our website, you will find the PDF format of uh, the presentation today, as well as the program for the remaining sessions. One remark, Johnny Mark from Norway, if you're on the call, you just drop me an email. Can I review the session? Yes, you can. Number four will be online, right, uh, uh, Florent, until this afternoon, yep. late uh, evening, and then from this evening, it's session number five. So you always have to follow that you can keep up. Huh? Okay, so before we go to Scotland, you have two more things here. Ah, yeah, yep. and that really comes, you know, from the question uh, uh, in our session number four, you know, what about ozone, et cetera, and we discussed it, and I, I think it was not, not uh, clear enough, you know, uh, uh, what means ozone? Because basically you have two different systems. You have a high ozonization system, or maybe let me let me start. That was the wrong direction. Let me start with the other one. Or no, okay. Let me start with this. There are two systems, you know, uh, about ozonization. This is what we use very often in Switzerland, also in Germany. It's what we call high ozonization system. How does it work? You have first a filter with sand. If you want to do it a lot better, you take AFM. Then you go in with one gram of ozone per cubic meters of water. So 100 cubic meter of turnover, 100 grams. This is very high dose. Ozone is very reactive, nearly, it's not as good as free radicals, but very reactive and they live a lot longer than free radicals. This is why you go in a contact tank, in a reaction tank, where you give at least four minutes time, you know, for the ozone to react and to oxidize all these organics. After this, and here you will lose some ozone, but I can't tell you is it's 50%, 80%, only 30%. This will very much depend on the load. And this is why then you have to go through a sorption filter. Sorption filter means activated carbon. And here, not just 10 centimeters, at least, 20 up to 40 centimeters of activated carbon to take the ozone out because this is the critical point. You should not enter your pool with more than 0.05 ppm milligrams per liter of ozone into the water. Why? Because if you enter here with 0.5, ozone will go up and it will, because it's more heavy than air, it will, it will make a, a layer on, on the pool water and in this concentration it's, it's toxic so up here on the surface we want to have zero ozone this is why we should not go in with more than 0 0.05 this is a good treatment it's a very expensive treatment uh, it works well you also can do it you know that you leave here the AFM filter out and just go here with the ozone contact time carbon this is the, the, the cheaper solution so this is uh, this is uh, option one, but really, if you go in this high dose, it's important that you take here all the ozone or a lot of ozone out that you do not enter the pool with more than 0 0.05. This is another treatment where, for example, uh, uh, our friends in, in Thailand, I'm not sure if they are on the call are using, mm -hmm. here you dose ozone, but in a lower concentration, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 milligrams per liter, and this is also to create, uh, uh, to improve oxidation. Ozone is a good oxidant. Also to improve uh, flocculation. It's a kind of chemical uh, uh, flocculation. <laughs> then here you only have AFM or sand, no carbon. But really it's important that you dose only as much that you have here, not more than 0 0.05 ppm of ozone. 
just to cover this uh, session because that was a little bit uh, confusing if people are talking about ozone system a and system b are two completely different animals you know one is a mice the other is an elephant that was a long that was a long one yeah but it's okay so, yeah it's okay, okay. So uh, what were the learnings from our last session? Again, in three simple steps. Learning number one, no biofilm means no or significantly less formation of trichloramine. Make, make it black uh, and white. No, no uh, biofilm, okay. no trichloramine. Less black organics, <laughs> number two, less organics means? Less DHMs. Exactly right. And number three, um, chlorate the concentration. Yeah. This we learned from Dr. Meyer yeah, uh, last time, very much. He, Ute was so much impressed. The hemoglobin, yeah, remember so, that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hemoglobin was... and uh, metglobin and all these. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Anyway, you're so my doctor. Lower chlorates <laughs> means, you know, yeah. use calcium hypochlorite. And the very best would be the DHA. Exactly. And in general, salt electrolysis. Okay. Good. Let's get started. You still have the possibility to review the session until this evening. So let's talk about AFM. Let's go to Scotland. Oh, this is the guy from uh, from uh, Highlander. Uh, no, actually, this is uh, the guy from Braveheart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, when I met Howard, this is uh, my friend, our partner, our our genius boy, uh, Dr. Howard Dryden. And actually, you know, when I met him the first time in 2006, he really looked like a brave thought. You know, he had <laughs> hairs, uh, hairs Hair. until uh, there, you know, he, 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 looked he looked crazy. But he's really one, if not the, the, the one of the, the most intelligent guys I, I've ever met. I would not hire him really as a general manager. You know, general management, I think it's not really his, not his, his style. style. But he is, he is uh, his unbelievable knowledge in, in chemistry and, of course, in biology. And he developed um, AFM and he developed AC. And believe me, he has not done it for the pool. Pools is a byproduct. He has done it here for these animals, for dolphins. Philip, you know how old uh, dolphins get in the ocean? Yeah, I, I, they can get very old, 40 to 50 years even yeah. sometimes. And, you know, in captivity, you know, in this chlorinated system, it depends if it's a really good one, they can get with a daisy up to, to, to 40 years as well. But, you know, in most one where you have a lot of uh, disinfection byproducts, trichloramine, uh, trilamisanes, they die after 10 years, 15 years, and they are dying from, from lung diseases. And this is why he developed uh, really AFM. This was his mission, you know, to eliminate the toxic chlorine byproducts for the dolphins. One comment to this, we as Dryden, we do not support uh, uh, dolphinariums. We believe these beautiful animals and also other, other uh, mammals, they belong to the nature. They have to be out in, 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 the, uh, yeah, in, in the oceans. But however, uh, if there are existing ones, and if we are asked, we try really to do uh, their life as, as best as possible. And by the way, as a byproduct, we use it in pools, and then we use it quite successfully. Yep. That's what we are talking about today. Good. So That was a long again. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. So today, AFM is made in two state-of-the-art factories. I know that's your favorite state word. State-of-the-art. So, state-of-the-art means... not state-of-the-art. The best of the best. It's the very best. You know, it's the most sophisticated. It's the most modern, fully optimized. You know, it's, it's, it's just... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we can make... Uh, it's the Tesla of filter manufacturing. Filter media manufacturing. It's, okay, go it's on. It's better than Tesla. <laughs> Capacity, 50,000 tons per year, which we can produce in both factories combined. We are working today in three industries. As uh, Dominic mentioned, you know, our start was in the aquarium and aquaculture industry. And we then moved into the swimming pool industry next, really, uh, which is what, 50% of our business yeah. roughly today. Yeah. And we have recently started to, uh, to invest and grow in the much bigger water treatment industry, which today is probably about 40% of yeah, our business. Um, could, could, be, I, could be that end of the year that will be bigger than, than pools but yeah. we love pools yeah. we love pools yeah. by the way there are two beautiful kids how have you got them? okay these are my own ones oh these are yours okay yeah these it's not because yours. of me it's because of the mother are you sure okay um, <laughs> yeah next i'm not floral. really sure floral come on over yeah we want to see you come come sing a come, song come move uh, guys no yeah we wanted to to give the next three slides to floral 
because he explains this in our production video in his very nice French <laughs> accent. I, I, I love it. And this is okay. why this honor belongs to I you. I really hope you like my French <laughs> accent then. Um, yeah, so hi, everybody. Um, yeah, these guys, I've, t I've told you for, for the last uh, sessions that we are a very green company. And uh, I think it's the right session to explain you why a bit more in details and how we do it. So uh, AFM, so when you look at sustainable, sustainable, right? <laughs> I Sus love it. <laughs> have you heard me, how he spells it? Sustainable. <laughs> sustainable. When you talk about sustainable manufacturing, uh, this is based on three key things. Uh, three simple steps. I know it. To, well, to, go, it to, to go to, green. To, yeah. So step number one is sourcing and more precisely local sourcing. Local sourcing is really key, makes a huge difference for the planet. And that's what we do with AFM. AFM is made from 100 recycled percent recycled glass sourced locally in the region here of Basel, Switzerland. Um, and of course, it's better to use recycled glass uh, as a raw material than sand. Because when you look at sand and, and sand mining, mining sand really is, is causing a big problem uh, for the environment today. Um, it destroy, it's banned in many countries, first of all. It's destroying rivers. It's destroying uh, marine ecosystems. Mm -hmm. um, the transport of sand is really energy inefficient. And um, yeah, it's, and we're running out of sand on the planet. So this is really becoming a big problem. So, um, you want to add anything for this? No, 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 no that's that's fine. Yeah. So yeah, Just so local sourcing is really key and uh, makes a big difference for the planet. Step number two: energy and water. And we're very proud to say that we are fully self-sufficient with our AFM factory. Um, and this this was one of the first objectives we had when we we thought to build this factory in Switzerland two years ago. Uh, we use solar energy uh, to uh, so we produce uh, 850,000 kilowatt hours of electricity on site using solar panels on the roofs but also you see all the facades of the the plant are fully covered with solar this panels this sexy green is actually solar solar energy yeah, yeah? so energy is self sufficient and for the water and the the washing process we use 100% rain water uh, rainwater, it's of course better for the environment, but it's also much, much, much cheaper. Uh, so we think every manufacturer uh, should should do it, should do it too. Um, step number three is of course the waste. It's a key point when you want to go green. It's the waste. All the waste are separated, recycled, or used in other industries. You, for example, have these fines, uh, the glass fines. So the, the glass that is too fine to produce AFM. Uh, this can be used to make cellular glass, cellular glass uh, that is uh, used for thermal insulation in buildings, for example. Mm -hmm. And also the sludge, we, all the sludge we get from the washing process here, this we can also sell to biogas companies to produce green electricity. So really zero waste is really wow, the key. There is a mistake. It goes to biogas, but we cannot sell it. We have to pay for it. But uh, however... We pay for it, yeah. but it's, yeah, yeah. it's in the end, we get rid of all waste. It's being yeah. used, yeah. Yeah. of course. And to close the, the loop, um, of course, uh, you know, the, re the, the lifetime of AFM is many times longer than sand. And also, we will always accept AFM back to our factories to, so old AFM to make new AFM. So really, we're closing this, uh, this loop here. Yep. So the circular See, economy the means we make out of, no, of waste, we make the very best filter media. Yeah. And some money with it. So the first right. thing you should remember from today's session is that when you're buying AFM, you're not only buying a you're not buying a sustainable product, you're buying a very, very, very sustainable product. So we have the wrong color today. We should have uh, the green, green shirts. shirts yeah. yeah. Okay, go on. Yeah. Okay, washing. Uh, so the process, we start with the washing. So the glass, uh, the recycled glass goes into this hopper here. We uh, remove all the metals, the paper, the plastic waste using uh, magnets, using specific blowers, and then it goes to this unique spiral washer we specifically designed at Dryden Aqua to remove all the impurities of the glass, the labels, the, the glue, the, the sugars, the alcohol that's on the recycled glass. And for this, we use, as I said, 100% rainwater. So the rainwater goes into this machine, the glass is washed, all the impurities are removed, and then the dirty water goes through decantation uh, and a special system to get the sludge out to make this biogas uh, 
and, and green electricity. And then it's also closed loop, sustain, sustainable, uh, it goes through AFM filters, it's polished, cleaned, goes back to the clean water tank, and we can re reuse it for, for more glass washing. So it's really, yeah. Sustainable. No, sustainable. <laughs> sustainable. <laughs> <laughs> so, Good. and what do we get? So, and then you have this dryer uh, uh, sterilization part we have with <clears throat> these dryers. So we get here from 50,000 grams yeah. per you know, ton. The raw material really has 50,000 grams of, of contamination of organics. And Minimum, in this yeah. process, in this washing process, we get it down to 5,000. And then in the big factory, you know, with all the treatment, color sorting, etc., we get it down to five. Down From 50,000 to five. And That's we, a factor of 10,000. Yeah. yeah. And we've seen that some other glass in session two can have have very high level of uh, contamination. More than 1,000, more than 2,000, but important. we do not compare for the fifth. We don't compare, but yeah, very important for safety and for commissioning. And uh, yeah, if you have a very polluted uh, product that you cannot backwash, it stays polluted for the, the life we are, of- You're talking to our community. They do not think about uh, this. Okay. Uh, they learned it in the last session. So, okay. when it, so when it's perfectly clean, pure, then we can color sort it. So we remove, as we explained uh, during session, uh, previous sessions, we remove the white glass that cannot be uh, activated. So we look at this, look in the video, you know, this, this machine, I love these machines. Okay, they cost a hell of a money. So we have how many of them? They are uh, six, uh, mm -hmm. but they are, they are fantastic. They yeah. are absolutely fantastic. So we want to use only green and brown glass for the manufacture of AFM because green and brown glass have these metal oxides that are necessary for activation. <clears throat> <clears throat> Once we have, when it's clean, we have the right color, then we can, um, it goes into specific um, crushers to, to really get this perfect size, perfect shape, no sharp edges, no splinters. Uh, green and brown glass also break differently than, than white glass. And, um, and we use specific uh, crushers to really have uh, the perfect size and shape. So we have three grades for pools, grade one, two, and three, and we have one more for water treatment applications. Even something for the rest. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> and uh, the final, and yeah, final step, and mo most important step is the, the activation process. So activation consists in three steps, chemical and thermal activation process. So we change here the structure of the glass and we change the chemistry of the glass. So we want to, Dominic and Philip will explain to you in details, but we make it self-sterilizing, we change the, the structure, we increase the surface, and we, give, we change the charge of the glass to, to give it really superior filtration performance. Yeah, and then quality control, certifications, AFM is the only uh, glass media certified for pools, for water treatment applications, but also for the drink, the food and drinks markets. And it's also uh, tested and certified by the best known European laboratory, which is the IFTS in France. So this was... here, this is not dance with Wolfis uh, that we see. This is dance of AFM uh, in the activation. Good. The so, yep. yeah, Dominic and Philip will explain to you. Sure. We, are, we are making Floral, two different kinds. You're doing great. Thank Do you, you guys. To continue Thanks for, so we can for your profit. sustainable <laughs> ex explanation. <laughs> that was, uh, I love this. Thanks, Flo. Yeah. Great, Bye Philip. Yes. Okay, you go AFM, AFM is uh, offered in two types uh, today. We have our AFM standard and we have our AFM NG, which was introduced uh, about a year ago now. Yep. So what do these two products have in common? They have two common features. One is they both have very important, a self sterilizing surface, which means bacteria cannot attach onto the surface and they cannot grow and form biofilm. Very important, both products have this in common. Huh? The second feature they have in common is their increased surface, like Florent just mentioned, the activation treatment of the surface increases the surface of the glass. And this leads to a superior mechanical filtration and also to a, a much improved adsorption capacity of the glass. Do you want to explain the difference between adsorption and ab? Yeah. Uh, adsorption means you attract particles, you know, it's it's a uh, surface, but it's outer surface, it's not inner surface. So you just attract the particles and this is why you easily can 
can uh, regenerate it just by a backwash yeah. or adsorption that you have, for instance, with activated carbon or CLI, you really take the particles in. This works greatly until it's contaminated, until it's filled, until it's biofiled, uh, and that's really the difference. So here you see, you know, how this, this, this mesopore structure, you know, it's quite rough, you know, it looks a little bit like the Alps, even, even wilder. This is the surface that mm -hmm. we have. Mm -hmm. And uh, this surface, again, as Philip said, gives better filtration, but it will also give a higher bioresistance, as we will yep. see yep. In, a, in a minute. Uh -huh. So what the two products have, uh, what they don't share, the difference between the two products is the surface charge. Huh? Yep. Our AFM standard has a negative surface charge. That you see here, negative, uh -huh. negative, negative, and this brings... It attracts positively charged particles. So everything which is flocculated, you know, where if you use coagulation, flocculation, this works very, very well. And also uh, 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 positive charged particles in the water, such as iron, manganese, yeah, exactly. arsenic, yeah, exactly. all these heavy metals, yeah. it's the, the very yeah. best that you can have. Yeah. yeah. And now AFMNG on the other side has a neutral surface charge. It has a so-called hydrophobic surface, which is excellent for the adsorption of organics and hydrocarbons and microplastics. Yeah, maybe right? we'll see in a minute. Yep. Question to here, Philip. Yep. So that means uh, with, if I use coagulation, flocculation, APF, for example, I should use only AFM standard? No. Nope. No, you can use both products, you know, uh, because uh, in combination with a flocculant, both both products will perform the same. Yeah. So there is not so such a big difference in pools between AFM standard and AFM NG if you use flocculation, but without flocculation, it makes mm -hmm. quite a huge difference. Yep. The video that you have seen in the beginning, you know, before we started, you will find this if if you if you want to show this to your customer or to your friends or whatever. On our YouTube channel, in different <laughs> languages, it's three minutes, something like this, and really well explained. So we are very proud. You have seen it there. Not just Florent, all of us are very proud of our new yep. factory, and we are yep. we are very happy to this. Okay, let's come back to AFM. You know, really the key feature of AFM is bioresistance. And as Philip said, in the AFM standard, AFM NG, both the same, but it's really the bioresistance. And why is this so important? Again, the recovery in three simple steps. Yes. So what we learned in session four is that biofilm in the filter bed leads to three major problems, right? Problem number one was the clumping and channeling of the filter bed leading to an unreliable and unsafe filtration. Huh? Point number two was in biofilm, you, you have a, a, a full community of pathogens which can uh, develop and grow. And uh, yeah, this is not what we want in pools. Yes. And... Problem number three, as we have learned, is if you have biofilm, you have trichloramines. If you have no biofilm, you have no trichloramines. Yeah. And these three factors need, uh, brings it to, to the point, we want the bioresistant filter media, and this is why Howard has developed AFM. And uh, let me quickly explain, you know, how, how this bioresistance works. You know, you have, you have your water, your H2O, and in the water, in a pool, you have a certain amount of oxygen, you know, two, uh, yeah, four to six uh, milligrams per liter of dissolved oxygens. You only need two, but, you know, the, the more, the better. Now, this water, which has oxygens, flows over the surface of AFM. And this catalytic surface increased by a factor of 300, you know, with the metal oxides that we have in the glass, will form a very small amount of free radicals. Very small amount of free radicals. This is enough that, uh, these free radicals is enough that bacteria cannot move in. These guys want to move in. They want to come mm -hmm. to the surface. Remember session number four. They want to uh, attach and then create, uh, uh, excrete the slime, create a biofilm to protect them. They cannot do it. If they move in, they are oxidized. And this is why it's really bioresistant. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So these are pictures of sand and AFM under a microscope. On the left side, you see fresh sand on the upper left. And then on the right, you see how sand is being colonized after only three days. So this, this uh, biofilm formation starts very quickly. Uh, on the bottom, you see on the left side, you see AFM new. 
and you see a picture of AFM in a, in a wastewater treatment uh, uh, application after five years. So both biofilm, after a backwash, by the way, both after yeah, a backwash. Exactly. You even could test it. They have done it here once, you know, they <laughs> had two identical filters in a drinking water application. They uh, used it for six months, uh, always backwash used, backwash used. Then after six months after backwash, they mm -hmm. have taken a sample uh, of five grams, you know, put it in uh, deionized water and then made a bacterial test and you see the differences in germs. Yep. So it's a huge difference. It's a factor of one million. I'm always a conservative guy and say it's 1000 times more bioresistant than, than sand, which is not completely true. It's even more. Yeah. So, but uh, again, you know, this bioresistance really brings, as we already said, you know, this uh, 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 no channeling and with this a safe barrier against pathogens, you know, also about crypto uh, that we will talk in, in the next uh, one. Mm -hmm. And no trichloramines and very, very reliable solution. We talk quite a lot about this. Yes. So let's go to the, yes. to the new, to the exciting thing. So this is what both products had in common, yep. right? Self-cellularizing surface. Now, why is AFM? Such a game changer. NG, um, NG. AFM NG, yeah. thank you. So, should I take that? Yeah. Okay. Um, Dr. Meyer. We mentioned that uh, AFM NG is hydrophobic, and I want to quickly explain what this means. Um, substances can be put into groups, basically, into a hydrophilic group and a hydrophobic group. Hydrophilic means they love water. Huh? They want to be with water. Literally, that's what it means. And uh, these substances, they are polar, which means um, basically it means they have a charge huh? in simple words. I don't want to complicate it, but they have a charge and they want to be in water and they also like other hydrophilic substances. So they kind of love each other and it's a really close community, if you will. On the other side, you have hydrophobic substances. Hydrophobic, they don't like water phobic means you don't like so, yes so philip for instance is a work of phobic uh <laughs> he doesn't like work no he's a uh and what, what's a, the other uh workaholic uh, workaholic yeah. yes phobic yes, means yes, you don't yes. like it yeah exactly yeah exactly you're a beerholic yeah no? sure okay <laughs> so anyway so uh hydrophobic substances are non-polar they have a neutral charge in other words and they hate water they like to be you know, uh, in their own group. So an example for hydrophilic is, for example, salt or sugar that dissolves quickly in water because it really likes water. Examples for hydrophobic are most organic substances, oils, fats, and so on. And, you know, the beauty now with uh, AFM, you know, up you see the old AFM, AFM standards, hydrophilic, and below you see uh, AFMNG hydrophobic. I mean, the other beauty for us, you know, before, you know, people said, ah, come on, right, you're marketing guys, you know, what is activation, uh, prove it, show it. Uh, and it, it, we could, but it was a little bit difficult. Now with AFMNG, it's very simple. I mean, you can make this test uh, mm -hmm. from your back. It will be not as hydrophobic as you see here. Uh, we could do it in this way, but this gives you some other problems in commissioning, and this is why we bring you the AFM NG in the sweet spot. Mm. But very ob obviously, you see AFM standard, hydrophilic, AFM uh, NG, hydrophobic, and uh, yeah, very, very clear. So what very does clear. this bring? What does this bring to us? I mean, you know, going back to history, uh, how it has done this because of microplastic that you see here, microplastics. Because microplastic without coagulation, flocculation with AFM standard, we could not really very well remove them. You know, we, we did, but something like five, ten percent. And he wanted to remove microplastic because microplastic is a problem in the oceans, uh, in the water. Uh, they are killing our our plankton, and with this, the base of, of all lies on on Earth. And this is why he developed, he developed it uh, because microplastics are hydrophobic. And as Philip said, you need a hydrophobic filter media to filter hydrophobic particles. And this is why he has developed. And then while testing this in our R&D center, we, we have found out, okay, it also works great for proteins, for oils, for lim, uh, lipids, mainly for, for any, any organics. And that brings it to, it's the very best filter media to use in pools and in aquariums. 
and then desalination plants. No. So today, it's really most that we're using is uh, AFMNG. Here you see again, micro, microplastics, oil. Yeah, want to add something yeah. here? No, no, I think you said right. it. I mean... Yeah. Uh... And then as a result, again, impulse, back impulse, the more organics you filter, the less uh, you will form THMs. So mm -hmm. that's, that's really about, and we talked about this last week, you know, THMs are not good for you. Especially not for your kids, not for for pregnant uh, They are not good. Yeah, yeah. So here, really, what you see and is what we just said: hydrophilic likes other hydrophilics, hydrophobic likes other hydrophobics, and you can see this here with the tip of the the pen, which is it's plastic. not a microplastic; yeah. it's a macroplastic. It's a macroplastic. It's the same thing. And Just you, bigger. you can see how immediately binds onto another hydrophobic surface, which in this case is AFMNG on the right side. Not with AFM standard, but with AFMNG immediately. It's very highly sophisticated very. how you yeah. explain yeah. this. Really difficult to yeah, understand. This, this test costs several thousand dollars okay. to make. I hope it goes from your budget. It's more effective, see? Okay. okay. Filtration performance. Filtration performance. We test, of course, the filtration performance in our lab, and uh, we, yeah, with this we work. But in a way, you know, you guys expect from us, let's go to a neutral source and really do the checks. And this is what we always do with IFTS, uh, or we do it from time to time because it costs a hell of a lot. So uh, this test costs something, huh? This test mm -hmm. costs, yeah, 5,000 uh, per, per, per media, per, per flow rate. But we did the same with, uh, with uh, AFMNG that you can see here up. And this was uh, October 2019. And then there is a full test protocol, quite uh, uh, complicated, you know, temperature, uh, uh, flow rate, 20 meters per hour, how big is the filter. So this is standardized. And then they count here, you see the filtration efficiency, you know, one micron particle, two micron particle, four micron particle, six micron particles how much of particular particles goes in and how much go out. So 12,700 in, 680 out. This is 95%. It's 95.6, but we round it. Huh? That's uh, mathematically, this is Correct. possible. And remember, you know, our AFM standard, you know, could filter 95% of the particles down to four micron. Here we go to one micron and that's huge. No, for my current, we are 99.3. So this is the takeaway. I, I just wanted to share this with you because usually you see, you see here our performance curve, you know, where we summarize all the medias that we tested and, and paid uh, for it. Uh, not for one, we did not. I was self-paid. So mm -hmm. this tells us. Yeah, so here's the, the comparison of the, the different filter media performance. You see the red line here is our, our 95%. The baseline. Threshold, the baseline, exactly. You see AFM, NG, uh, the green line with the one micron filtration that Dominic uh, just talked about. If we move on to sand, um, sand gives us uh, 20 micron filtration of 95%. It's a really good sand. It's 0 0.5 to 1 yep. uh, millimeter. Yep. It's the, it's, the, it's the best sand we could find, basically. In the UK. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But we, we tested also in, in, in uh, Switzerland, you know, the, the one not with IFTS, but in our mm. lab. And we were here, this was 0.4 to 0.8. Here mm -hmm. we were not at 20 micron, here we were at 16 micron. Yeah. It's a difference. Yeah. Okay. It's not one micron, it's yeah. 60 micron. And then all the other curves are crushed glass, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You see this here. Um, they Their performance varies, but the, the very best one was at 25 micron. Yeah. Huh? Well, what we do not see here is DGS. Why don't we see DGS? Okay, let me answer this because it's better than sand. It's, it's just around 10 micron. Uh, of course, we, mm -hmm. we want to go for the mm -hmm. very best, for the one micron for AFM. But I mean, just, you know, to show, yeah, you can say Dominic, good. Dominic and Philip, I mean, you, you, he is a marketing guy. I'm, I'm at least an economist, you know, both of us are liars. No, um, you, you can make any graph that you want, but here also we want quickly to show you, you know, this is from IFTS. 
again, same, same uh, story. Five micron particles, 73% removal rate, uh, five micron particles. Or here, 20 micron particles, you know, you had to go up to 20 micron particles that you get to, to the 95. Huh? And uh, maybe another one, you know, which was now also in discussion, this is this nature works. And you know me, I, I love this, you know, nature works if it suits the right product. Um, here, for example, this is one of the tests that we, we did not have to pay because it was published on the internet. Nature works, beauty is, you know, it's, it's, it's white glass, it's quite sharp, to be honest. Um, it's, uh, but it's very clear, it's very clean, it's very pure, you know, there is no contamination in it because you, you go for the window glass, but these are the official data, <coughs> five micron particles, less than 60%, or 95, 30 micron. So Maybe they should rename their product to nature doesn't work, I don't know. <laughs> nature works, but not in all the cases, okay. you have to use what nature in your favor. Yes. Backwash performance, we talked about this, Philip, uh, but I mean, just uh, as a quick summary, again, here you see IFTS. Remember, you need minimum 15% of bad expansion, ideally 25. And that for, with our AFM NG, with the new grading, you need 40 meters per hour, three to five minutes, sand, depending a little bit on the size. Mm -hmm. Uh, 50 to 60 meters, you know, and it takes a little bit longer because it's longer to rip off uh, until the biofilm yeah. is gone. Yeah. This is mainly what we see here. You know, here we are three, four minutes. Roger, you're nervous? No? Okay, enough for us. Um, so three to four minutes uh, and uh, you make a complete 100% efficient backwash because it's attracted. It's not absorbed. And it's not uh, the solids which are glued with a biofilm on it. I was doing yeah. that. No, it's good. You said good. it all. Now, this is one of my favorite that we uh, brought out last year, the e-learning video. It's yep. a very short video that explains the most important things you need to know about AFM. In three minutes. And we let you watch this three minutes. And then you will think, why this idiot needs 30 minutes to explain <laughs> what you can explain in, in three minutes. Okay, let's have a look. Have you ever wondered how bacteria survive in a swimming pool? And why the sand you're using in your sand filter needs to be replaced every three to five years? The main problem with sand, crushed glass, and other filtration media is biofilm. A slimy, acidic substance formed by bacteria in your filter that protects them from oxidants, inside which bacteria can grow and multiply quickly. After only six to 12 months, biofilm starts forming clumps leading to the formation of channels in the filter bed. With time, filtration performance becomes inconsistent and unreliable by allowing unfiltered water and bacteria to enter the pool while increasing operating costs and water turbidity. Unfortunately, biofilm also creates serious health hazards as bacteria in the biofilm generate ammonia, which reacts with chlorine to form harmful disinfection byproducts. These byproducts are responsible for the unpleasant chlorine smell, causing eye, skin, and lung irritation. They are not good for you, and especially not for the children. But is it possible to get safer, clearer water, and healthier air conditions with the same sand filter you've been using for years? It's more than possible with AFM Activated Filter Media by Dryden Aqua. AFM is a self-sterilizing and fully bioresistant filter media made from recycled green and brown glass that replaces sand in any type of sand filter. AFM gets its self-sterilizing properties from free radicals formed on the surface of the grains when water flows through the filter. This renders the formation of biofilm impossible, making AFM the only 100% bioresistant filter media on the market. What's more, our patented activation process modifies the charge of the glass and strongly increases its surface area to give AFM unique filtration properties. With a certified one micron filtration, AFM surpasses the performance of sand and other glass filter media to provide exceptional water clarity and lower chemical consumption. The activation of the glass also enables AFM to reduce the formation of harmful THMs by up to 50% percent 
while providing substantial backwash water savings for a quick return on investment. Extensively tested and certified, AFM outlasts all other filter media and is the only glass filter media certified for pools and drinking water applications. Enjoy clean and healthy water for years to come with AFM activated filter media. So we are back from the beer, uh, from the <laughs> coffee. Uh, well, you see how, how easily you can explain it. And this video, by the way, you find again on our YouTube channel. And it's the very best, you know, to copy in the link, you know, send it to your customer and say, I will go for, yeah. for the best. Yeah for the best software and this yeah. is AFM and here in three minutes you will know Put it on why. your website, exactly. Yeah. One step closer to perfection. Okay. Let's talk about the layering, huh? Yeah. That's important. Yeah. One too. Okay. One step closer to okay. perfection. We have improved, you know, until end of 2019, we had our AFM standard and we had another grading. We had 0.4 to 1 and we had 1 to 2 millimeter. And this is why we recommended to go in a, 70 grade one, 30 grade two, or 70, 15, 15 in bigger filters with laterals. And now watch at this. Uh, we are changing it. Have a look at this. We are changing it. 70 goes to 50, 50. And here, 50, 25, 25. Well done, Floro. I love your, your animations. We are too stupid to do that. We are just here totally. to, to explain you. But we go to 50-50. Why? Because it's much simpler, 50-50. Four backs, you know, 70 third, it's kind of difficult. Yeah. But 50-50 is easy, right? Uh, even I can remember that. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. That, okay. That it will work for everybody. Yeah. Why do we go 50-50? Uh, well, what, what do you mean here, Phil, Philip, there's with really, this? There's really, yeah, there's really another reason than just uh, I can remember it. So we changed the grading of grade two from uh, uh, 0 0.1 to 2 millimeters, from 1 to 2 millimeters. Uh, to 0 0.7 to 2 millimeters. This and in effect, we are also doing since October, we do it also with the NG the hydrophobic activation. surface. Exactly. Yeah. So, and through this, it becomes a hybrid. What means hybrid, Philip? Well, it means it's a support layer like it used to be, but it's now also a filtration layer. Two right? functions, one yeah. product, two functions. Yeah. And this is why we can go to the 50 50, and you will see. There are other advantages, but maybe you start to, yeah. Yeah, let's start maybe with, with, with this uh, layer here. Again, you have here on the uh, IX, uh, you have the, the removal rate, 90% removal, 50% removal. Here you have the micron. We have here different combinations. We have here red sand, the one that you have seen in IFTS. This is the IFT test, IFTS test result, 73% removal rate, as you have seen before, you know, on five micron particles. Then we have here yellow AFM NG grade two. 100%. Uh, 100%. Huh? This is nothing else than this. Big size 0 0.7 to 2, this and 0 0.5 to 1. And you see it's already a lot better, not a little bit better, a lot better than this very best sand that you find. But if you do the combination, yeah, maybe you explain the two combinations, the 70, or let, let me well, go on and you take yeah. the next one. If you have now 70% grade one, 30% grade two, as we had in the past, that's the green line here, or you go in a 50-50, you see they're equal, but from middle of difference, they're equal. Same filtration performance with 50-50 damage, 70-30. So why shouldn't we go for the easy way so Philip can remember? Yes. <laughs> I want to too, but we can't. So there is a good reason why we go with the 50-50, right? Yeah. There is more than one reason. Huh? So we have same uh, filtration performance. This is what you already mentioned. It's now a hybrid the grade two, support layer and filtering layer, but there are two more reasons. And one very important one though. You will explain. Right? You, can, very you, important you can take one. a This has convert. to do with the bed expansion during backwash. Um, with the 7030 layering of AFM NG, uh, uh, we have a higher bed expansion uh, at different velocities. For example, here we see at uh, 40 meters per hour, we have an expansion of 40% of the bed. And that's at 25 degrees. Yes. So if you drop to 20 or 15, that's even yes. higher. And that's too high, uh, too high. You will lose some media. You will lose some media. 
ladies and gentlemen, that's not a problem from Philip. It's not yeah. a problem for me. You know, we love if you lose media and you make a refill. But uh, yeah, some people do not. Yeah, it's it. not ideal. So we did a great job, you know, in improving uh, uh, bad expansion, uh, backwash performance, but we did it a little bit too good for yep. 70 30. Yep. So, yes. So the 50 50 has a much more ideal expansion at these, you know, we recommend the backwash velocity between you know, 40, 40, usually 40 yeah. meters per hour. Remember session number two, yep. fast and fast and, and fast short and is short. better than, exactly. so not in, in every case, but in backwash, yes. Mm -hmm. So this will give us an ideal expansion of about 25%. This is what we want. That's it's perfect. Want. Yeah. It's perfect. Absolutely. This is why we go with the 50-50. 50-50. Now you mentioned there's one other reason, you're right. Yeah. Tell me. This has to do with the pressure drop through the filter bed. If you have more of the grade one and less of the grade two, then your pressure drop, you, you, you will have more of a resistance, obviously. So if you move to a 50-50, you have less of a pressure uh, drop. So how much less? Let's talk about we're filtering at 30 meters per hour. Yeah. Um, this is 0 0.1 bar. 100 millibar. 100 millibar. It's nothing. Oh, it's big. It's a lot. It's big. Right? You know, especially if you have a public pool, you know, this 100 millibar, that can make a difference of two to three, five kilowatt maybe, and it mm. depends on, on the size of, mm. of it. So it's big. But it's really, you know, the main point, because we have the same filtration uh, performance, why should we not go to a 50-50? Yep. We have a better, the best bad expansion, not too high. The yeah. ideal, and we have less of pressure drop. So yeah. three simple reasons. Okay, let's summarize and yep. uh, let's look at the few examples that we have. This yeah. I think we covered, huh? Yeah, we covered. These are the three things. By the way, there is also on our YouTube channel. We we love to do videos, as you can yep. see. There is also an information about this new layering. You know, if you forget it, review it uh, there. Let's go to the next. Yep. So promise of AFM in private pools. In summary, yeah, what's one. The, 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 the promise of yes. the product. Huh? Yeah. Much cleaner and clearer water within 24 hours. This is very quick after changing over. No huh? chlorine smell, no skin and eye irritation. Yes. And number three, reduced chemical consumption and reduced pool maintenance means you're saving chemicals, you're saving money. Yeah. And I think it's also a must, you know, for any chlorine-free treatment, very such as yeah. Pyrosoft or other peroxides yeah. or or uh, uh, soft and easy, etc. Yeah. Because it's bioresistant, that makes a huge difference yeah. and because you filter out more. Yeah. Maybe a last point I, I would like to add. You know, I had one case, you know, where a customer came to me and said, Dominic, I haven't seen the miracle. You know, I've seen savings, but it was not that great. And then I went a little bit deeper. I found out his pool was one on the cubic meter, quite big. I said, what's the size of your filter? I said, well, it's a 400 millimeter filter. So he changed his 25 kilograms of sand to 20 kilograms of AFM, and he has not seen so a very big miracle. So it also has to do something with quantity. Huh? Mm -hmm. um, we are a little bit over. We are coming to a case study. That's one of my favorite uh, Estee Lauder uh, case study. Let me explain you this. Here you see this uh, nice lady. It's, by the way, my ex-girlfriend. You know, I met her more than 30 years ago. <laughs> we are still in contact, so we are married for 22 years. And uh, so that already gives you an indication she's not anymore 30. Uh, it's more something that starts with a five. And I think, you know, she, she's still, yeah, she, I, I still think she's a She still good. lives with you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a surprise. Okay. I, know. No, but it's, I mean, Maybe I'm not objective. I was thinking she's still a beautiful girl. Honey, if you watch it, yeah, I'm happy. Um, but what has this to do with AFM? You know, I was in Spain visiting my, my good friend, uh, Patrick, and we were talking about, uh, uh, we were talking about uh, AFM and said, yeah, no, I understand. You know, it's the very best, but Dominic, you also have to keep in mind it's two to three times more expensive. And I said, Patrick, 40 euros per bag. I mean, this is not... Uh, this is not big money. Yeah, it's not big money for you because you, the Swiss guys, they're also so uh, uh, rich, but uh, 40 euros is a lot. What can you say? I mean, never argue against a, a customer, against a friend. Mm -hmm. But then on the way to the airport, you know, my wife called me and uh, asked me, uh, honey, can you bring me uh, a bottle of this Estee Lauder? 
So I, I'm not sure if this is the, the miracle why she is still in such a good shape or if it's me or a combination or whatever, but I, I, I got the order, go and buy Estee Lauder. This is, I, I don't treaty, treaty, beauty treatment, whatever. I went there in Spain on the airport in the duty free. I bought one bottle, big as this, 100 milliliter. And this was a cost of 164 euros. Of course, I'd love to invest this for my wife, but that brought me to the Estee Lauder factor. What does this mean? If you fill, for example, your cold plus filter uh, in a diameter 640, you know, we call it FA15, you will need six packs. If you take a price for sand of 15 euros, AFM is 38 uh, euros, the additional cost is 138. And this 0 0.8 is less than one of this fantastic, great bottle of Estee Lauder. This is what we call the Estee Lauder factor. Mm -hmm. huh? As Nietzsche already said, you know, everything in life is relative. Double, double the wow. cost of sand or three times more. Yes, it's great. If you compare it with this, it's nothing. You're becoming a philosopher now, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah? Okay. I was all the wow. time. You, you have just, many talents. You just have many means. talents. Okay, let's go okay. on. Promise AFM in public pools. Short, very short now. Yeah. Huh? So no chlorine smell, very low tri trichloramine levels. Huh? Usually three to five times yeah. lower compared to sand. Here in red, what is not the promise? We cannot <coughs> promise if you use AFM, you will have less of total combined chlorine. Less of inorganic, less of trichloramine, but not less than total combined chlorine. It will be more or less the same. If you have an indoor pool where this is a problem, it's never a problem in outdoor pools, then just use small layer of activated carbon, 10 centimeters, problem solved, problem gone. And that brings me uh, to the other case study uh, for, for, um, for public pools. Uh, and thanks here to Sweden. Mm -hmm. We love you, Swedish, Swedish. How dare you, Sweden? You know, we love you, no, Sweden. You, you, you do it good, you know, especially you're since this pandemic, we so much respect Sweden and the way you're doing it. But going back to here, you know, Peter Storm Swim Hall, that's actually six, seven years old, you know, big pool. They replaced the sand uh, with AFM. They also put in the DAISY system. And what was the result of it, Philip? So uh, a, a reduction in uh, chemicals, huh? uh, mostly acid for pH reduction, chlorine reduced up to 30%. Yeah. Huh? But, Massive. But really the water consumption you know, was water quite, consumption. quite uh, heavily, you know, that yeah. was... Uh, four cubic meters per day. So that was quite a, 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 a thing. Yeah. It was one of our first uh, projects that we have done with our friends from Valdano, you know, and we promised them a, a return investment in five years. And he came back and said, you were wrong. It's, mm -hmm. not, it's not five, mm -hmm. it's two. Two years. Yeah. And really what I, I love, maybe you, you give the, um, the air one and you show this, you know, really I love his statement that he did. No, which air? One. Okay, I'm responsible for Europe. I'm responsible for yeah. Sweden, so I take it. You know, here Lars Ottersen, oh. the manager, you know, of Peter Storp, he also wrote, smell of chlorine is gone. Customer asked whether they have stopped using chlorine. That's a trichloramine. We have now our coffee table in the swim hole. Here, wasn't possible before because of aggressive air. Mm. Thanks. Lars, uh, we, we, we really appreciate yep. uh, this and uh, yeah. Okay, Outlook, se Outlook session number six next Friday. We will talk about the Dryden Aqua Integrated System DAISY. Yeah, we will very go deeply in APF, but not just in APF. We will really talk about coagulation, flocculation, what you should look, pH, alkalinity, how to mix, not just with our products, with any products. So really it will be yep. along about coagulation, flocculation. We also will talk about ACO, why this is such a, a great thing, you know, the very best chlorine stabilizer, and we will talk about phosphate removal. That will be an interesting one, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So join us on this. Please. Yes. Okay. Q&A.